Coming back from injury or illness can be quite a process, and last week my son brought COVID home from school and gave it to me. I haven't done anything in a week. Just the fact that I'm sitting here in this chair and not over there on the sofa or way back there in the bedroom is a big step forward. So I have no idea how much fitness I've lost already. So in this vlog series, we'll talk about the physical, mental, and emotional aspects of coming back from COVID and trying to regain the fitness that I've lost. But in order to do any of that, I'm gonna need... Yo, it's Ivor, and it's been <coughs> a week. Let's rewind a little bit. Last weekend was my first race of the year, the Cal Aggie Crit. You probably saw Jeff's video about the P12 race, but I also did the 30 plus race. I kind of fell off all day, but I thought it was mostly mental. The next day I had five hours of endurance pace on Zwift, and by the time I got off the bike, my son was sniffling and coughing. He had clearly brought something home from school. Everyone took tests, all negative. He was still feeling sniffly and coughing on Monday, so again everybody tested, again everybody negative, but we kept Iver home from school. Same thing on Tuesday, but later that day when I got on the bike I was feeling really off and I only lasted about five minutes before calling it. By Tuesday night I was pretty sick. It felt like a bad upper respiratory infection. I went to bed pretty early, but I didn't get much sleep. My wife came in and woke me up, I wasn't really sleeping, with the news that my son had just tested positive, she and the girls had tested negative. Thinking was hard with how much my head and everything else hurt, but it was pretty clear to me that if he had it, I had it. I'm gonna skip over the misery that was Wednesday. I don't really wanna relive that. But Wednesday was the worst of it, and after that, every day got better and better. So here we are a week later, and most of my symptoms are gone. I still got a lingering cough. <laughs> but other than that, I feel pretty normal. My vitals are normal. You should check this out from when I was sick on Wednesday. And I plan on slowly easing my way back into exercise. Disclaimer, I have talked to a doctor and my coach about this. And if you are sick in any way, I would recommend talking to your doctor before returning to any sort of physical activity to figure out what is a good and safe way for you to do that. Anyway, the plan for today is to do some light lifting and maybe take the dog for a walk. That's it. All the while, I'll be paying very close attention to my heart rate, and if it does anything unexpected, that's it. I'm calling it and going right back to the sofa. Let's get it going. But before I get to any of that, I've still got my job to do, and since my mom is in the house right now and I don't really feel like wearing a mask, she still hasn't gotten sick, I thought I'd come outside. It's 70 degrees and I haven't been outside in a week, so I think that was a pretty good choice. Well, that went remarkably well. So much so that Doc and Coach agree that barring any heart rate weirdness on this walk, I should try an easy, easy Zwift spin later today. Here's open. Man, it feels good to be outside again. After a week indoors, I was going pretty crazy and snapping at everybody and just, I was just generally unpleasant. Mostly I feel bad for my wife who has been an incredible trooper throughout this. She has basically been waiting on me hand and foot, not because I couldn't do anything myself, but because she didn't want my grubby German infested hands all over everything in the kitchen. And then add to that that she was wearing a mask inside the house all the time and sleeping on the sofa and she deserves some kind of a medal. Sidebar, it's February 8th and it's 72 and sunny. Gotta love winter in Northern California. Fortunately, I'm fully vaccinated and got a booster two months ago. So the physical side of this hasn't been that bad. Really, it was just one really bad day and another day or so of feeling normal sick. But the really scary part is that for most of the week, anytime I would do something crazy like get off the sofa, my heart rate would go through the roof. But the worst part is that I don't do bored or sedentary very well. It drives me crazy if I'm not doing things. I need to be productive, whether that's at work, with the family, at home, on my fitness, something. But for an entire week, I did nothing except maybe play some PS5. Okay, a lot of PS5, which is why I'm so excited about how today is going. And let's be clear, I didn't do much in the gym. I did five sets of deadlifts at a weight that's lower than my warm-up weight, and three sets of squats, again, at a weight that's lower than my warm-up weight. And I threw in some pull-ups because I'm vain. But the point is, at no time during lifting or while I'm out here on my walk, has my heart rate done anything unexpected. Two and a half miles in and I'm wrapping up. So far, so good. Check out my data right up here. I think we're looking good for a recovery spin. Made it to the pain cave. I'm on a bike. 135 watts, but I'm on a bike.
Again, I'm not doing anything crazy here. Just keeping it really easy, spinning it 170 watts, half an hour, maybe an hour. The goal here is to see what my heart rate does, if it behaves like it should behave, and if I'm ready to start doing anything more than this. I guess we'll find out. All right, I'm done for the day. Time to just sit on the sofa and chill. Why am I wearing a mask? Because she's here and I'm currently sitting in her bed. Anyway, today was really encouraging, but I have no idea how much weight I put on because I haven't weighed myself in a very long time. I have no idea how much fitness I lost. I haven't done any kind of real work. There's a long way to go, but we'll get there. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Day one of the road back is in the books. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.